Hi guys, thank you for joining me. Here's an update about that 5.3 earthquake that occurred there at 10.55 a.m. in the Imperial Valley. As I told you before, this fault ruptured almost 14 miles. It was along the Brawley Seismic Zone. And yes, there is lots of volcanoes here because this is in an area called the Salton Trough. This is where we got spreading, pulling apart the separation of the United States um, going all the way up from Mexico through the Gulf of California and slowly moving north. Yeah, where you have spreading, where you have where the plates are pulling apart, you have volcanism. That's why we got all these uh, geothermal power plants along this area and going all the way down to Mexico. The Salton Trough is an active tectonic pull-apart basin, or Garbon. It lies within the Imperial, Riverside, and San Diego counties of southeastern California and extends south of the Mexico-United States border into the state of Baja California, Mexico. The northwestern end of the trough starts at the San Gorgonio Pass in Riverside County and extends 115 miles southeast of the Gulf of California. The Salton Trough is a result of crustal stretching and sinking caused by the combined actions of the San Andreas Fault and the East Pacific Rise, particularly the Gulf of California Rift Zone. The San Gregorio and the San Andreas Fault both terminate near the south end of the Salton Sea in an area called the Brawley Seismic Zone. The Brawley Seismic Zone is an active spreading center that connects the San Andreas Fault system with the Imperial Fault to the south. And we have seen a lot of earthquakes recently of these different faults moving, the continents moving as the Earth magnetic field weakens. I've talked about that. USGS has listed now 381 earthquakes so far within the last 24 hours. 68 of them over a magnitude 2.5. Y'all just know that earthquakes in this area can slowly build up and create a large earthquake along the Imperial Fault Zone, the San Andreas Fault Zone, the San Encinto Fault Zone. They will slowly grow in size um, if there is going to be a large one. There's been a lot of historical earthquakes in this area. 1968, a 6.5. 1981, a 5.9. Um... Another one in 1981, a 5.8. This area is capable of having a magnitude 7 or greater. And as you know, this area, Southern California, is overdue by about 350 years for a major earthquake. The general thinking used to be within seven days a large earthquake could happen, but they now know that it could happen oh, even a year later. Down here in Mexicali, there was a magnitude 6.5 in 19, uh, 6, 1979, also a magnitude 6.6. 6. In 1892, there was a magnitude 7.8. See this fault line, they join up with other fault lines and it goes all the way down here to uh, the largest geothermal operation probably in the world. On the 19th of last month, there was a magnitude 3.4. They're slowly working their way up towards the north. Let me bring this back up. Here in Wikipedia, it says the Brawley Seismic Zone, also known as the Brawley Fault Zone, is a predominantly extensional tectonic zone that connects the southern terminus of the San Andreas Fault with the Imperial Fault in Southern California. The BSE is named for the nearby town of Brawley in Imperial County, California. You can see how recent earthquakes have occurred over here by the Imperial Valley Fault Zone. The most recent, it's now up to 384 earthquakes. 
here you can see how these earthquakes are moving up towards the uh, San Jacinto Mountains. The San Jacinto Fault is a major strike slip fault zone that runs through San Bernardino, Riverside, San Diego, the Imperial Ta Counties in Southern California. The SJFZ is a component of the larger San Andreas Transform System and is considered to be most seismically active fault in the area. In 1918, there was a magnitude 6.7 earthquake with an intensity level of 9. There was a lot less people living there in 1918 than today. And I'll bring this out. It's actually much closer to the San Andreas Fault Zone, but they considered it um, the San Jacinto Fault Zone. So um, just have to keep an eye on these earthquakes, see if they are going to build up over the next week or so to larger earthquakes. You should be prepared for that. If not, it would be a good excuse to uh, go out and get an extra two weeks worth of food and water. If you were smart, you would do that. You would be prepared. Only one, about 1% 1 of the population is prepared for a large earthquake or any other type of disaster. You know, they do have bug out kits even for your pets, for dogs and cats and rabbits and things like that. Yeah, and this earthquake, they are showing that it was caused by spreading of this, <laughs> yeah, um, fault zone. So what are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you guys later. God bless y'all. Bye.